Hey, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I always think I have so much more time than I actually do. <laughs> so I had literally a minute and I'm like trying to log into my caller. So I'm sorry, people on everybody who is patiently waiting on blog talk. I'm sorry that I... Uh, I'm a procrastinator. So here's the deal. If you are listening on a podcast, I heart Apple um, via Rude Rangers TV or the Rude Rangers app or on one of my uh, blog talks, Spreaker, I heart Apple. If you want to watch me live, um, you can join me live every Monday at noon on YouTube, my words are catching up with my mouth, or is it my mind that's catching up with my mouth? <laughs> oh my goodness, it was a long weekend. It was such a, a phenomenal weekend, but it was a long weekend. Um, a good weekend, a really good weekend. Helped a friend celebrate their birthday. Uh, so I'm a Gemini. Most of my friends are Gemini. So it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. Thank you so much, everybody on social media who reached out and said happy birthday. Um, I, I love every single one of you. Even wait, wait, even if you didn't wish me a happy birthday, I still I have so much love for you. Um, so you can join me on live every Monday on YouTube. You can watch the repeats or the restreaming of the shows on Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, um, which is a station, YouTube, app, uh, uh, um, Roku, <laughs> Amazon, <laughs> Amazon Fire Stick, I think Apple TV, I'm, I'm out there. So, so here's the thing. You can see me in a lot of different places, but if you want to watch me live, it's here. Uh, so I'm going to say hi to some people who just are watching me live on YouTube. That's uh, Cindy or Cheryl Orlando. Oh, my God. Hey, Cheryl, I love you. Hey, Em. Hi. Um, I'm just going to lean in and uh, Mahesh. Mahash. Hey, Mahash, how are you? Uh, Breezy Ray, how are you? And of course, Genevieve, who is, she is just such a, an amazing soul from Canada. Mahesh, from, where are you, where are you watching from today? Uh, Cheryl, I know where you are. Um, Breezy Ray with Sabrina, where are you, where are you uh, tuning in from today? Um, let me know if you're, if you're on YouTube, let me know where you're from so I can give a shout out. Oh, Costa Rica, Breezy Ray and Sabrina are from Costa Rica. I love that. I want to, I really want to go there. So, Hey, if you want to help, um, my publicist set up an, an event for me there, I would be all in on that. Genevieve, as most of you already know, is, um, in Canada. Okay, so enough about that. So you guys, here's the deal. I have callers uh, that call in and they wait, like, they wait 15 minutes before I even can get, you know, they wait 15 minutes in the call log to get a chance to ask a question for the show. So my number one priority is always the callers that call in. So if you want to call in, it's um, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. You can ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side. I'm a psychic. I'm a medium. I'm a channel. I feel like I'm in a circus act right now. Do, 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 do. These are me juggling fake balls. We'll stop that. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I've got my goofy on today. I am, I am so goofy today. Um, hey, Skip from Atlanta. Um, oh, it's S. It's not Skip. I'm sorry. It's Sandy from Atlanta. Hey, Atlanta. Thank you for checking in. Um, so, and then there's Ah. 
uh, Mahish, Mahish, I am so sorry if I mispronounce your name. Um, I don't want to just call you uh, by your last name, which is, which is Rajput, but I think I'm just going to call you M because I don't want to disrespect you by mispronouncing your name. Okay. If I do say your area code um, on blog talk, uh, please take me off of speakerphone because the background noise is really uh, disturbing. And I'm, I already have my phone on speakerphone, so I can use it for all of my one-man setup show here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and, um, no, I have not been drinking, but I, it's fair for you to think that right now. It's literally noon on a Monday. You might be watching this on uh, Rude Rangers TV at 6 p.m. on a Monday and think, wow, she's she's already had some wine. <laughs> no, I have not. Um, oh, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, Mahish. From now on, I'm going to try to remember I can call you Bobby and Farid. I hope you, that's your name. I'm going to go in a little closer. I'm sorry for everybody watching on big TVs. Uh, Farid. Okay, Farid. I think your name is Farid. Hey, okay. If you want to call in, 845-277-9131. If you cannot call in and you have a question, please Put it on the uh, chat section of YouTube. I'll try to get to it. There's no premise, uh, but I will. So I'm going to skip off of this really quick, and I'm going to come over here. And 780, you're the first caller today. How can I help you today? Hey, thanks for taking the call. It's Jay calling from Canada. Hey, Jay. Hey, yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. How are you? I'm doing okay. I had a moment last week where I had to take some time off. Um, I had some really bad thoughts of harming myself, and I just don't why where that come from. So I don't know, if, I don't know what, I, what, I, what to do in a way to uh, um, um, find out what it is. <laughs> okay. So the so. first thing I'm going to say is I'm, I'm really sorry that that happened. Um, it's a very difficult time in the whole world right now and I want you to know you're not alone with that many people are going through just devastating times right now but the first thing I'm going to do Jay is I'm going to make sure you're clear and I get a no so for you everybody li listening and re-listening oh no you are not because I can't even get those words out without uh, going there so we're going to start clearing everybody. So if you're new to my show, I do this healing work called clearing. And uh, it literally, um, the angels, Holy Spirit, whatever deities you work with, come in and start removing the energies that no longer serve you. Okay? Oh. This is a lot of uh, between the heart and the throat is where I feel this big ball of energy, Jay. So hopefully that will be released soon. Um, what I'm going to tell you is, is uh, you know, I would implore you to get out of the... Um, what's going on in the world and only focus in on, on um, your immediate circle. So, um, and I know sometimes even our immediate circle isn't the best place to go, but right now they're so, um, okay, there's so much division being deliberately caused in this world and and th believe me i I'm, i don't want to go too deep into it but um it's very it's it's extremely intentional if you can keep people it's it's the it's it's textbook divide and conquer you it's it, it, yeah. whether you believe in i know i know I, I, yeah, yeah. 
And, and for, for everybody else listening also, whether you believe in conspiracy theories, theorists, or this or that or the other thing, anything designed to divide people, to create a division, um, it is, is not good. It's not good. And it happens with religions. It happens with every aspect of every life. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to say is, is is stay out of as much of that information as you can for now. Build yourself back up. Bring the light from the sun into you. And let that regenerate and recharge you. Um, okay, you're still not clear. We're going to continue to clear this throughout the show. Um, don't go anyplace because before the end of the show, I'm going to click back on you. And I'm going to see how you're feeling. I do feel it. It's very tight in you. I do feel it uh, pulling out of that right shoulder area, though. So you might feel it. You might not. Um, but by the end of the show, I'm going to click back to you. And I'm going to see how you're doing. Just make sure you're okay. But until then, I I'll be clearing other people, talking to other people. It you'll get those clearings, too. Um, so, Jay, please hold tight. And thank you for calling in. I'll be back to you in a moment. Okay. So if you, anybody out there, is having these um, difficulties right now, it, it is normal to a certain extent. But I legally have to say, legally, I have to say, Reach out to a facility to get help. Now, if you know you're not going to harm yourself, you're just having these thoughts, reach out to somebody you can trust, okay? But legally, I should stop doing finger quotes. I put my hands behind my back. Legally, I have to say, if you're having thoughts of harming yourself, reach out to a professional. Now that I've said what I have to say legally, I'm also going to say it's a very difficult time in the world. And we have been through quite a bit over the past year or so. It's normal at this point in time with everything going on and all the judgment and all the division to feel very uh, defeated at moments. Um, and believe me, I could do a five-hour show on the the uh, the outcome of what has happened over the past year. So being in lockdown, being in your house, being isolated, being being separated from family and friends and loved ones, not being able to live our lives scientifically. Yeah, I'm going to use that word and I'm going to use it appropriately, unlike some of the scientists out there using it scientifically and a, every psychiatrist in the world will tell you the outcome of that would be devastating for most people we are here to create recreate to fly to be free and to live our lives to enjoy them so and it's not that I don't believe C, the big C, isn't real. I believe it's real. I also believe the way it, I also believe it was mishandled. I believe there, it could have, things were done that didn't need to be done. And things are being done now that do not need to be done. And if you don't like my answer, I completely understand. Please don't argue with me. Argue with the, the angels. Argue with your guides. Don't argue with me because I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to tell you what they tell me every single time. No two ways about it. And any and every reader that I have watched online says the exact same thing. Every psychic that I talk to that's worth anything and sorry if you're not getting information from the light says this exact same thing okay 
Now, I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is 770. 770. Hello. Hey, how can I help you today? Uh, this is Sandy, and um, I need to have some clarification on what's going on with a legal thing. Okay. And uh, I'm just trying to find out what, you know, where it stands and all that stuff. It, it's with my brother. Okay, so do you want to, let's, let's get this right to the end result. Do you want to know, are you going to, is, is this a win or lose situation for you? Right. Yes, okay, correct. So you want to know, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to be really super honest here, and I'm going to tell you straight up, there's not going to be a winner in this situation. Emotionally, psychologically, there's not going to be a winner, Okay. Who will get the verdict? Um, who will get the verdict on the other hand? I feel like it's going to, what I'm hearing as of this moment, and this depends on a couple of things, um, I hear it's going to be a compromise. There's going to be a compromise in the verdict. Okay? Um and, and I'm going to tell you, legal situations, that's what judges do. Judges, like, they, they kind of, that's that's where it sits now, no matter what it is. It's a negotiate. They negotiate things out now. They just kind of negotiate things out. It, it, the legal system has um, changed a bit along with everything. Anyway, let's get back on topic here. Um, I'm just going to say, I feel like there's not going to be a winner here. You're both going to lose a bit of, um, well, first of all, and I wish I was joking with this, but you've already lost a bit of your sanity over this. You've also lost a bit of your, um, your ability to, um, they're using the word compromise, and I know you might not agree with that. I know you might not think that that's accurate, but it's okay. It's okay. The way they're used, sometimes the way they use a word and the way it comes across might be two different things. Um, emotionally and psychologically, you're both going to suffer. If you two can, can, can. Here's what I'm going to say. There, there's just not going to be a winner in this one, love. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you might walk away with something, but you're not going to win. You're not going to win. And, I, and that's all, that's all they're saying. And I'm, I'm really sorry. And there is, it, 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 no, they're going to say one more thing. They're, gonna, they're not done. I wanted to be done, but apparently I'm not in charge here. They're like, nope, keep going. Um, there may be a right and wrong. There may be a person who is right and there may be a person who is wrong. But both of you think you are the right person, even if one of you knows you're not. And um, so right and wrong does not always determine what should happen because and I've been in plenty of situations, and especially with family, where I thought I was right, but um, in the end, I wish I would not have cared about that. But but that's me personally, and I'm going to say you do what you do, you you do what you have to do. Um, I do feel like this is going to be one of those cases where it's just going to be compromised and you're going to think, I went through all of that for this and here we are. Now, I'm not saying you're not fighting a good fight. I'm just saying this is where it is as of right now. And it may end up being there um, for a bit of time. So figure out a way to manage the outcome and that's what's going to move you forward with a bit of ease and happiness. Okay? Okay. Whatever the judge decides, whatever the verdict is here, 
find a way to uh, manage your feelings about it, to be okay with it, no matter what it is. Remember, things were determined. A lot of things were um, destined, are destined, even though we we want to believe we have control over things. But a lot of things are destined. And um, always remember, no one can ever take what is meant for you. And everybody has a path in life that they are following. Um, so whatever the verdict is or whatever decision is made, find a way to manage your, to be okay with it, to manage your emotions, to be okay with it, to not be upset. Because I do feel like there's going to be a compromise and you're going to feel like it's not fair. Like that's not right. This is the way it should be. And that's that. Uh, and you, you might be right about that. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not here passing judgment. I'm just here telling you what they're telling me. And I do really yeah. hope that that is helpful for you. Um, but what I am going to do, don't go any place yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a clearing that the fairest and most just uh, verdict comes in for this. And right now I'm getting a no because I'm going backwards. So I'm going to clear that now and hope that uh, this helps bring some peace and a better outcome to this, okay? Um, so thank you for calling, and I do hope that in the end, whatever, however this comes down, it's best for everyone involved. So, and I, I, I want to put you back on, like I want to take you off. I want to put you back on the air, but I have a feeling the questions I want to ask you, because I have a feeling this involves something of a sensitive nature, but I don't want to do that on the air. So that's why I actually muted you, because I feel like this has something to do with something of a sensitive nature. And I was I don't want to put that on the air. So I'm going to go um, to YouTube really quick. I'm going to look at if there's any questions. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about Zanon's feelings and moves towards me in a week? Okay, so for Farid, Farid, uh, Zanan, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say um, give it time. Don't, don't be like within a week, within a week. I feel like everything is going to fall into place exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, but I feel like if you push, that's exactly what you'll do. It'll be like, phew, gone, done. I'm going to tell you that you're going to have some, um, yeah, I, I, okay, in your, in your mind, in your mind, you're going to have a light bulb uh, moment, an epiphany. All of a sudden, you know what, Fareed, all of a sudden, and I feel like this might happen by Wednesday, tomorrow or Wednesday, something's going to click. You're going to have this thought or this knowing or this understanding and you're going to go, oh, my goodness, like, how did I not see this before? Whatever it is for you, it's going to come in very, very strong and it's going to give you clarity on the situation. Um, I feel like sometimes we get a little so in our head with our thoughts, obsessive thinking, that's me, by the way, I obsessively think about everything, um, that we don't take the time to be silent and let the information come to us, okay? So I feel like if you, um, if you just know everything is going to be okay, and all of a sudden you're going to have this light bulb moment, and all of a sudden you're going to be able to say, Okay, now I can move in the direction that's best. 
Okay. So know that, <clears throat> excuse me, and allow it to unfold naturally. There's a natural order of things for sure. There is. And then Genevieve, I haven't. <laughs> no, I have not. I I would be shopping right now if I won the lottery. <laughs> no, I'd still be on air. I'd be planning to shop afterwards. <laughs> Genevieve, you are such a sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. 845, how are you today? Good, no, I'm doing fine. And you? Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. How may I help you? Okay, um, can you please see um, near how I'm doing economically, financially? Any changes that are coming? Okay, so... Um, please. Yeah, there are changes that are coming. So there, okay, so <laughs> you you might not like my answer, but I'm not here to please people. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not here to please people. I'm here to give them the truth. People don't always like the truth. That's just all I can say. Um, so three changes are coming, but two of them have to come from you. One change is you, you have... Um, how do I say this? You have to look at the way that you look at money and the way you spend money and then your finances will change. So when I say the way you look at money, like um, where is your consciousness with money? Are you in a place where you have a very uh, powerful uh, wealth or um, abundance consciousness? And then the second thing is how you spend money. And well, we won't go into that right now because that's just that. Now, the third change is there is a little. And when I say a little, I mean there's a little more coming in. When this comes in, again, really look at your relationship with the way you Okay, look at money, how you feel about money and how you mo most um how you spend money, okay? So you know I I'm not saying this is you. I don't think this is you, but I'm I'm just going to say the the change that the answer you want to hear is 90 yes. Seconds. Um more money is going to come in for you. Yes. That's going to happen. The answer you don't want to hear is is maybe you have to look at how you think money works and what you deserve in money. So having said that, here's what I'm going to say really quick. Really quick. If you're watching on WSCS, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can watch the rest of this show on Rude Rangers TV or on my YouTube station. And if you'd like a private session, you can go to T O N I G dot I N F O. That's Tony G dot info. Thank you.